Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to do stuff. So let's see. I have spent an an, an in-game day mining, and uh, you know, just got a bunch of iron and stuff, and got some steel made up. So I've got 85 steel plating in my own inventory. How may I assist you? And Roberta the robotic drone has another 111. Um, so we're gonna go. We're gonna do a few different things in this episode. We're going to go back to the horde base and finish uh, the repairs there. Uh, then we're gonna need to travel to the forest and get some lead because I am completely out of lead, uh, and I need those to make bullets to make more 10 mil ammo specifically for our auto turrets out at the mine. Um, so we're gonna do those two things. Then we're gonna head back to the mine and probably do some more mining and you know just kind of see you know where things go from there. Uh, so I believe we've done everything we need to do here in the base. I just I'm making a little bit of red uh, red tea here. I don't have any golden rods, so we'll probably pick some of that while we're in the forest because I need that to make some more uh, mineral water. Uh, so, oh, I know what I wanted to do before we leave the base, though. I want to go ahead and make a titanium pick. Um, so yeah, let's let's make a titanium pick now and uh, then we're going to see what it takes to start upgrading this because um, i want to start using a uh, titanium pick i've been using a steel pick for quite some time and it's been a decent pick but it's time to upgrade that uh, so we'll make this and then like i said we'll see what it's going to take to upgrade it i'd also like to make a titanium axe but uh, you know the axe is excuse me the axe is not quite as critical for us right now as the pick is and i'd also like to eventually Make the titanium sledgehammer too, which is uh, maybe we don't make that in here. We may maybe we make it somewhere else. Okay, so let's take a look at, at this pick and compare it currently with the metal pick um, or the steel pick. I'm sorry. Um, so the steel pick is better, but of course the steel pick also has mods on it and it's purple compared to to H level. Um, so this does 52 block damage. This does 85, but I think we can use the titanium pick to mine titanium, whereas the steel pick on titanium is, um, it, it's not, uh, it doesn't work very well. <laughs> I mean, you can mine it, but it takes so incredibly long, you know, to do it that um, it's not really worth it. All right, let's put that in there. I've been making a whole mess of, of coal powder, too, because uh, we have a nice coal vein in our, our mine. Been making a bunch of gunpowder, but uh, again, it's lead that's primarily our stopping point at the moment uh, for making more bullets. So let's just get that stuff back out of there. And let's see, you're working on, on stone dust. We still have quite a bit of stone dust to go, and you're still working on a lot more coal powder. All right, so let's see... We're a bit on the heavy side, but Roberta the robotic, bleep, robotic drone is already completely loaded up. So uh, I got 90 wood spike traps, but we're going to take all those out to the mine to replenish the ones that we have out there. And you, Roberta's got Ready iron too, duty. right? Yeah, she's got some iron so we can repair the iron spikes that are out there. All right, so what I want to do is I want to go here and put, uh, we want to go to the upgrade option and put this in here. And this is what we need to upgrade this from H to G. Uh, okay, so let's do that. And then to upgrade it from G to F, 
We're going to need some more titanium plates and some duct tape, both of which whoop, uh, is not a problem at all. we got lots of titanium, so we just need to make some plates. So i got 800 ingots, in fact, um, of titanium. So let's... Let's make let's make 200 plates. That's going to take six and a half minutes. And then, um, oh, and we needed to make duct tape, which we should be able to easily do. So for that, we're going to need cloth and uh, glue. So we'll just convert all of this into a bunch of duct tape. Now, to make more glue... Um, we need bone powder and probably murky water, I'm thinking. Let's look in here for glue. The glue recipe. Uh, oh, so it has to be in the plastic bottles, huh? Interesting. Okay. Oh, that reminds me, too. Um, we have... There's something wrong with my water well down below. It's not... It's not filling up anymore. It's stuck at 14. Uh, charges, which I'm, and I keep watching it. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. So that's a thing. Um, so if we take, we don't have any uh, murky water plastic bottles there. So let's grab. I should actually have some down already down there though. So let's let's run down there, and that way I can offload some of this stuff into our mining cart too. Yep, we just sprained our leg. Sometimes that happens. I wonder if it's just because... Oh! <laughs> All right. We hit the edge of it, but I think it was just a little bit too much for us. I need to make some more steroids, too. Okay, so yeah, this thing has been stuck with uh, on 14 charges for a really long time. And I'm not sure why that is. Uh, here, put this down here. Okay, so it's it's charging, but it wouldn't go past 14 for some weird reason. Uh, so maybe that will, you know, reset it, so to speak, so that it will, it you know, it'll start doing that. But we'll be able to make at least 14 um, more glue with that. Okay, so let's head out. Oh, wait. While we're down here, we wanted to offload into the mining cart. Uh, so we're going to put all of that in there, all of that in there. Uh, let's put the fuel and the brick. Well, now these we want to take over to the uh, the horde base. Because we're going to do that first before we go after the, uh, the lead. And you still have, yeah, okay. So that'll help a little bit anyway. Okay, let's head on back up topside. Okay, now we should be able to make 14 more glues with that. That way we're not completely out of glue at the moment. I'll throw that in there. Okay, so now we should be able to do the next upgrade here. Oh, no, we got, we got to get the titanium plates, too. Okay, so upgrade to there, and now we can go right from F to E. Oh, that's taking research data, too. Interesting. And we can go from E to D. And then from D to C, we're going to need military fiber. Can we make that? Don't remember. Wait, what? Military. Craft and research station three. It looks like we have everything we need to craft military fiber. That's going to take most of our research data, though. But military fiber is something that's, um, you know, not easy to come by from loot and stuff. So we're going to really need to want to make it. Uh, okay. All right. So that gets our pick 
our pick up to this uh, C green level, uh, level D. So now how does it compare to the steel? It's actually better now than the steel pick. Look at that. Interesting. So now it has 80.2 block damage. Uh, well, no, this has 85.4, but this has better damage, power attack, and attack speed. Not that those things matter a whole lot, but it, it's almost on par with this now. Um, now, let's go ahead then and take these mods out of here. And how many mod slots do we have in this? We have three. Okay, so we definitely want the Bunker Buster and the Iron Breaker. And probably, what's the fortifying grip do? Oh, no, yeah, probably the structural brace. Okay. So, and again, I think we can use this now to also mine titanium directly. So, you know, if our, our, if our Valkyrie drill, uh, you know, it breaks or whatever, we can, we can start hitting the titanium. Okay, cool. This is expensive, man. Uh, what does it cost to upgrade this to the next level? Uh, it's going to be gears and military fiber. Okay, so yeah, we're not quite ready to do that yet. we got to get this military fiber learned. Fantastic. Okay, so to make military fiber, what? Uh, where do we make that? We make that in the chemistry bench. And yeah, we can actually make a decent amount of that. But I think we'll worry about that later. I think we're going to stop here for now. Uh, with these upgrades. So we'll just keep working on it as time goes on. Excellent. Okay, put that stuff back in there. And let's now head on over to uh, the Horde base and finish the repairs there. I got some of them going, but uh, I did some repairing, like I said, off, off camera, but there's a few more that need to happen here. So we'll do that next. Just take this over there. We got some more oak trees, it looks like, that we can harvest too at some point. But we're doing really good on wood. We got tons of wood. Um, you know what? I want to get the stuff out of Roberta's inventory because she tends to get stuck trying to get up there. Great to see you, Master. Okay. I believe I got most of the repairing uh, finished. Just have a few more things that we need, that we need to touch up. So let's grab our nail gun. And it looks like we're hungry, so we will take one of those. Um. Oh, I need titanium plating for that. Yeah, I wanted to get that upgraded. I think we have everything else we need for the moment uh, to do the rest of the repairs. Oh, I was going to bring uh, wood up. Well, do I have any more concrete blocks? I don't think I do. Yeah, I, I mean, I have lots back at the base, but I don't have any up here. So I, I want to fix these up, too, at some point. Okay, so that's titanium. Let's go all the way down here. Looks like the ladder's all in good shape. This is all good along here. We'll touch that up. I wanted to get this repaired and upgraded to steel because that's part of the, the critical path. And then we're going to steal these ladders. Concrete that stuff up. Okay, and let's just make sure they have a steel path going along there. 
I decided to leave this just a normal block so they have to stop and jump. That'll slow them down just a little bit. And then this is steel all the way along here and then we just want to steel all the way out to the road. There. Okay, so that significantly reinforces their path up to uh, the base. And they have to do two jumps there, which, like I said, will slow them down. Then they come along here. Uh, how much steel do I have left? 26. Yeah, you know what? Let's just let's just steal those up too. Okay. Yeah, so that, like I said, that re reinforces this pathway hugely. Now, I, you know, the, the concrete bridge here, at least out further here, doesn't take hardly any damage at all. So I think we can leave that as concrete. One of you guys mentioned to me in the comments suggested maybe putting the spike traps down along the ladder. But the problem with that is that if the spike traps, you know, kill the zombies, I don't get any XP. At least I don't think I do. I know there's some talents or whatever that you can put points into that you, you get XP from trap kills, but I don't think I have really any points to speak of in that. So um, I would prefer to have them up here so I can still have the op opportunity to kill the majority of the Zeeks and get the XP. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I think we're good to go, man. I think we're ready for the next Horde Night. Everything should be in place. Everything's repaired. Uh, the only thing I'd like to do is get those upgraded, but we can do that at a later point in time. Did we get a Horde coming in? Have picked up something. Yep, looks like we have a wandering horde. I'm not going to turn the power on just because I don't want to uh, anything to get damaged. We'll just deal with them the old-fashioned way. Is that it? Looks like we have one more Nurse Nancy coming up. It's a good test, though, to make sure the pathway's fixed, even though it was pretty obvious that it was. Oh, more footsteps. I'm not done yet. I think that's it. Fantastic. All right, guys. Next step is we are going to head into the forest biome and find a lead node and get ourselves a bunch of lead. Let's do it.
All right, guys, we are back at the base. It's actually the next morning, too, because it was pretty late when I got back. Uh, so I just kind of spent the night uh, smelting up lead and uh, working on some other things. Uh, so I think we're going to finish the rest of this episode by working on uh, the Shock Tower. We haven't done uh, some building for a while, and we really need to because uh, we just have a lot to do here at the Deshong. I, I really, I, I'm really starting to get the itch to get our base, you know, set up uh, in its final configuration. And before we can really do that, we've got to, uh, you know, we've got to at least got to get this corner of the tower rebuilt. Um, it is still my intention to rebuild this corner too, but I'm not necessarily planning on doing a whole lot over on this side, uh, at least in terms of, you know, our, our actual uh, base setup. I don't know. We'll see, though. We'll see. I, I, it is in my, in my plans to, to do this side, too. Uh, but uh, I want to get this corner done so we can really, you know, get our final configuration here. So that is the plan for the rest of this episode. I'm going to... Um, I, I have quite a few concrete blocks made up. I have 342, and we still have a lot more. Um, in fact, that's more than I can even carry at the moment. Uh, stone powder... Here, let's put half of these back in here, and I don't actually need to hang on to those. Um, it looks like I'm finished making stone powder. Made quite a bit of it. And did I make more cement in here? I think, yeah, I think I've already pulled that out. So, have I really used all of that stone powder up? I can't believe it. <laughs> I guess we have. My goodness, okay. So... Uh, we have 274 mix, and I have three. I, I must have used it to make the, the actual cement itself. So let's go ahead and convert most of the mix into even more blocks. And we do that, of course, in the artisan table here. Uh, we can make a total of 63 from that mix. I don't want to burn all of the mix up, so let's make 50. That still leaves us a little bit of mix left over. All right, so. Um, oh, yeah, and I've been making uh, 10 mil ammo, too, for for the turrets out at the mine. I'm actually going to put these back in here for now because it's not going to completely fill it up, and then I'll lighten this up a little bit more. Okay, so let's see here. We left off on this floor down here. So let's jump down here, and I think... I think we just need to fill in the floor here. I don't know that we want to keep this down here. So let's let's remove this. Just a little more iron there. And then um, I had last time I worked on this, I'd actually screwed up, but I guess I think I fixed the screw up. I'd put an extra row in there, so it looks like it's correct now. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, so yeah, let's get the let's get the ceiling in, um, and we should also fix this too. the 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 idea here is to repair everything. I know I don't really need to repair everything, but I kind of want to just just to do it, you know. Just for the heck of it. Just because I can. That sort of reason. And so that gets that in good shape. I think this was already a hallway here anyway. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, let's get the floor in place on the next level and then we'll go from there. All right, so that gets that done. Uh, now, it looks like we're gonna put a full block all the way around both sides. But ideally, I think we're gonna want this to be a, well here, let's just do this. We'll copy this block and copy that rotation uh, because that, that puts the little kind of baseboard thing down there for painting later and then 
uh, yeah, we should be able to just go all the way around with this. Darn it, I put these in upside down. Okay, so that takes care of the baseboard blocks. So we have a support here. Let's go back to that shape. Okay. Good, good, good. And now we build up the next part of the of the wall. Uh, which is going to be these half blocks here. Uh, so copy shape and copy rotation. And then it looks like each of these areas has a full block in it as well. Probably the corner does too. Let's go look at this corner here. Yeah, so that's just a solid corner all the way around there. Very good. Okay. Um, now we basically just keep doing that, but we have to go up higher. And let's get rid of any ruin blocks. Probably be easier to do that from up above, I'm thinking. That can be repainted so because the block itself isn't actually ruined. These are ruined though. So we'll do a copy shape and a copy rotation. Put those in there. Same thing here, those can be repainted. <coughs> um, we've got some stuff here. Okay, we're not worried about this corner of the building right now. Is everything in here in good condition? It looks like it is. Other than the broken glass and all that crap that we got to take care of. Okay, let's hop up to the next floor. And we got to get rid of all this stuff. I'm assuming that that's just a normal block there. And all this has to be filled in anyway, so let's do that. And this is probably all just normal floor here. Do I have, um, I don't have any concrete on me. Oh, it doesn't matter. That's got to come out anyway. Yeah, it's, it's a ruined stone. In fact, I might not even replace this wall here anyway. Because it is my intention for this to be our kitchen. I, lo I like this kitchen. It's really cool. Uh, but we're gonna it's gonna be more a lot more open up here than the original floor plan uh okay so let's continue building this floor out here good okay so now let's start working out this direction Um, I think that goes there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. So it's part of the floor. Okay. Uh, I'm not doing anything with windows for now. I'm just leaving the windows the way that they are. What's going on here, though? Is, oh, 
I think... Wait, what is this block? Uh, I'm not sure what that block's supposed to be here. But let's go out a little further. This is really precarious because I lag so much up here. And I need to see what's going on. Oh, okay, so there's, um, have I been doing that over on this side? I don't think I have, yeah. Looks like we're going to have to do some outside work, too, because I haven't quite been following that pattern all, all along. Um, okay, well, let's at least do it from here. So we want to copy shape and rotation. So there's like a whole nother trim piece going along here that I haven't been doing. Uh, at least not, it looks, maybe I started doing it down below, but, okay. Yeah, we'll, um, we'll probably have to come up with some kind of a scaffolding setup or something, um, or just a big ginormous nerd pole and f make sure the outside is, is correct too when the time comes. Uh, okay. So let's come back over here and put that in. And just so I don't forget that we, you, you know, let's start doing it from here on out anyway. So I'm going to put that piece there. And another piece there just to kind of remind myself that we got to keep that going too. All right, very good. Uh, now... This can keep... Well, here, let's finish out the floor first. Yeah, let's finish out the floor first. So we want to copy shape, copy rotation. So this floor doesn't have a drop ceiling. I mean, it's got a like a painted drop ceiling, but <coughs> it doesn't actually drop down. So um, let's do this. I think we're going to want that trim piece coming out there too. So here, let's go copy shape and rotation. Okay, and then same here. I think the trim piece should come along this way. Is that what we did over here? Well, no, we did it up above. I haven't done it down here yet. Okay, now yeah, let's hop up here. All right, I think that gets us up to the next level. This needs to be fixed here. Uh, okay, so we have another block coming down on that side. What about out here though? No, there isn't one on the outside of the window, okay. So it's gotta come along that direction. And we'll do the same thing all the way across. But uh, we are out of blocks here. And that's it. Okay, well, we made some progress anyways. And uh, now it's just going to be up to me to mine stone like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> um, which I will certainly be working on. But yeah, this takes, takes a lot of work, a lot of resources way more than it would in vanilla, but that's okay. I, I knew what I was getting into and I'm having fun with it. We're, we're not, you know, it's not a race. It's not like we have to get it done immediately. So we just 
work on it as we work on it. And it, you know, kind of breaks things up too. So, you know, we're doing, sometimes we're doing some mining, sometimes we're doing some building, sometimes we're doing some POIs and it keeps things fun. All right, you guys, well, I'm going to wrap up this episode here. Um, I'll probably spend a few off camera days just mining like crazy, you know, to get those resources. And, uh, excuse me, <clears throat> not sure what I have planned for the next episode. So we'll just have to, you know, play that by ear, but we'll do something fun, I'm sure. And with that, I'm going to leave you here. So thanks very much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.